So, welcome back guys. Uh, first big change is I should have been slack really with the videos. Been getting stuff done with work, kids. It's just been manic, especially with this COVID. I've got a yard full of scrap, absolutely yard full of rubbish because I can't take anything. Scrap yards is, it's not even worth taking stuff to weigh in because it barely covers the diesel cost. Uh, Plus, the car I've got, I still need a few bits off. I ain't got time to take them off, so I will get back on it. But, uh, yeah, tuning back in is because, like I said, I have been slack. Been following the Merc build, building the Merc back up. I think, I, I can't remember where we were last time where we started. But, uh, anyway, I do have to apologise. There she is. Rebuilt. I think we were doing the head. Yeah, we were doing the head, cylinder head. Yeah, bit, uh, Trev, my mate, come down. Didn't want to be on video, to be honest. He's, uh, he'll scare your kids off anyway, so I won't worry about that. But uh, yeah, didn't want to be on video. So we just got cracked on. We got it built and we got it lifted in. Go run in. We had a couple of oil leaks. I've still got an oil leak. Uh, let's, uh, let's have a look. Like I said, guys, I've literally got a yard full of rubbish, look. So all that needs to go, and it all needs to get cut up and put in a scrap car. But, uh, yeah, back to the old Merc. I've got, like I said, can't get any log books from DVLA whatsoever. There's no log books, so that's sat here, near as damn it done. That I'm working on. But, uh, yeah, back to the Merc, so... Thing. Ah, here we go. God knows what it was doing. Uh, what a whopper! What a whopper! It's the other side. When it pulls the other side, yeah, the leak it comes from on the exhaust cam. The half. The short wheel bolts in as well. Have a bear with me. There she is, sports hands. There she is. Give it a big lift. Yeah, so what we have, we have this, which is a hydraulic pump. So this is for self leveling suspension, and this on this model has a AS, ASD diff. So, which is a hydraulically locking, so that also feeds the diff unit. But between where that seals, which I think is, you can see there, the seals crap on this rock cover gasket. It's absolutely garbage. So, I'm going to pull that off. It's leaking down here and it's leaking, spinning, and flicking up, uh, getting a bit here. Other than that, that's all there were. There were a little leak on, copper washer for the chain tension of that's done i've changed this this foil here so i know you probably think it looks shit it's all shiny and that but the original one like i said just rubbish everywhere because we have been busy that's the one i took off so no way i will put that back on that's the original mercedes one it is the same it just is paper wrapped so well, yeah that's where that belongs the bin so yeah it is a bit tappy on top end where we did set the valve clearances to the loosest settings uh, but yeah it is what it is hopefully they should nip up new injectors are in they were a little coolant leak which was same again you get these teething, teething problems little coolant leak was uh, just an hose clip Gear. And the exhaust is blowing it, blowing like mad. I don't know that. Uh, 
However, I've not got the money at the minute to have an exhaust med, so what can we? Yeah, just a bit noisy bit on traffic. We did do a VR on the losing side, uh, but I did lap the valves and then lap the valves and then did the valve through, so which is what you should do. Uh, hopefully, time I get it in, they should close up again, especially cold. And when everything expands, when it's warm, it's not actually too bad. So, yeah, you get to it. Uh, lovely. So, we'll be on to the bodywork soon. Try and sort this rusty arch. It's new rings, literally everything in my engine is, is brand new. Apart from a couple of used pulleys. So yeah, mega happy way guys. So yeah. My fault, I should have uh, really updated you. Kept you in the loop, but uh, you know how it is when you get busy, get working. But yeah, hopefully we'll start on a bit of body work on it. And uh, have a go at these back arches. But yeah, I'll leave it at that. Thanks uh, for tuning in. Like I say, if you see my other video, you'll see I'm busy on with the RS Turbo as well. So it's all go. Right, cheers.